Christopher Lee Bentley. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Fantastic. How are you today? I'm doing good, man. How I are you this I'll... year? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, dude. You have had a great start February to 2022, 3rd. man. <laughs> got the new song, Wonder, out. You Thank got you. the new Sunday Best song on the way later on this month. Yes. A good start to a good year, man. I tried to plan it that way instead of getting into the year and scrambling to to make things work yeah. or, or make moves. It, it uh, kind of towards the end of 2021, I started to look ahead and it was like, okay, let's 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 kick it off with a bang, you know, nice. and and set the tone for the rest of the year. Yeah, man, because y'all have uh, been planning uh, this new song with Mirrored Image, Wonder, for quite a while. Because I've seen the video of y'all at the Grand Hall a few months ago playing it. And man, i got to be honest. I love Mirrored Image. I love your solo stuff. I would have never expected a (laughs) song from both of y'all. And it turned out great. Like, the chemistry is there, man. How did that partnership come together? How did Wonder come about? Cool, man. Uh, thank you for that. Um, yeah, those boys are, man, I think they're a grand slam. I really do. Like, they've got a sound that is unique uh, in its own way, especially for this local region and this area Yeah, that is full of talented singers, players, songwriters, all of the above. I mean... Their sound is unique, and I, I've been saying this for a while now. And uh, Jake Ratliff, the drummer, is the yeah. one who kind of introduced that project to me, and me and him have, have played shows together, and we rehearsed all of 2020 in the garage, like oh. playing me, him, and Timmy Tackett, Kevin Harmon, uh, even Wes Farmer. Uh, Brandon Campbell, we were all jamming through 2020 to get through it in the garage, right? Nice. But uh, got into Mirrored Image, man, and I just think they they have a sound that um, needs to be heard along with this big singer-songwriter movement that's going on that we're in the middle of. I mean, there's there's just other genres that that I want to use, you know, the mm-hmm. platform of Hollywood Productions to really promote all types yeah. and all genres and, and folks that are doing it right here at home. You know, I, I really want to focus on what we got here and then branch out from there. Um, so there's a lot of unbelievable music and talent here in this area and Mirrored Image is, is I think they're right there. So I book them... For the Kentucky River Jam, which is a music and arts festival that I've been affiliated with in Frankfurt, yeah. capital. Um, have you heard about the River Jam? I've always wanted to go to it, man. Oh, yeah. It seems like y'all had a really <laughs> fun time last year. I love oh, yeah. the little videos y'all yes. done there. Yeah, so those boys came up, came all the way from from here to Frankfurt to play a set, you know, at the, they were the last act before the headliner that night, which was Homegrown Head. Yeah. And, man, they just, they lit it up. I thought Purvis was levitating. <laughs> I, I was like, God, He's so great, man. Dude, they, but They're they, all great. And I just, man, I, I like their sound. I, I said this, too. Like, if I was in high school right now and was cruising around in my S10, I'd have their music blaring. No doubt about For it. For sure. See, man, like... And I still do now, and I'm in my 30s, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this area, like, I know that it's been predominantly, you know, bluegrass and, and folk, Americana, country, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And, but there's been so many other great genres of music coming out of the mountains, but sure. nobody's just... I don't know why, just not really been able to put it on the map. But Mirrored Image, I think, has really been that band. Take to, them to Hollywood to and see out. what happens. Yeah, man. Take them to California and see what people say. They've been really able to stand out though, and, and show the folks that like, hey, this mountain, these mountains are full of so much Everything. more talent than what you're thinking. Right, dude. Their their song, uh, there used to be a rave there. Yeah, that is one of my favorite songs of all time. I love more. That's a good one too. You know. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. They, Jesus Loves Me. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <sighs> they're, so, they're, their whole new album so is just we, good. So 
I mentioned Jake, the drummer. So how it all came about is uh, Jake was drumming for me when we kind of, we put the protectors together, which was those guys I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just, man, we would shed it in the garage in 2020 forever. And we played a, like maybe one show that year, and it was at Summit City. Cool, man. And then 2021 played again, and I hurt my foot at the show. How'd you hurt your foot? I jumped off stage <laughs> in Charleston, West Virginia, at Sam's Uptown Cafe, How and it's tall on the this stage? and it's on the second floor of this of this building, right? Okay. Oh, it was like probably five foot or so, oh, and man. I like I jumped up to go down. Oh, so you got some air? I did, and it was dark. Like I couldn't really. And there was a rug on the wooden floor, like a black rug, and I was like, man, I, I just shouldn't have done it. <laughs> why, why did you do I was it? pumped. <laughs> nice. And those boys, I ask them when he's, you know, if you talk to them next time, like, what well, that was like, because it, it's not like it was a packed room. You know, we had a decent crowd, and we were singing. I was singing everyday people. Sly? Sly. Yeah, man. Normally, Brandon Campbell sings it. Brandon wasn't there. But I was like, let's do it. And we had played for probably 45 minutes or so already. And we're like, I was pretty much done singing it, and the band was just jamming yeah. out. And I was like, and people were dancing. I was like, I'm going to jump down there and dance with them for a minute. Boom. Oh. My left heel, it felt like I was struck by lightning. Like, Did was you pain. It? Was pain. I fractured my heel. Like, oh. my, the bottom of my foot a oh, heel man. bone yeah that's the worst one i thought it was my ankle you would have been better off much yeah yeah like yeah the the achilles heel man that's oh god right and i thought it was i tore it but it ended up being a fractured heel <sighs> thank god like the bone thank yeah god. thank the lord and i stand there and, and they finish the song and i'm like i have just done something really like my foot is it's really hurting i played basketball all the way through college and i never yeah. had experienced a sprained ankle or anything like that so did you so keep on playing i like kind of made my way back to the steps to get back up to the stage i crawl up the stage and we do one more song like, I, don't, I couldn't even tell you right now what song we did because it was just, I was in maybe Feeling Blue, Credence Clearwater Revival. It's a great song. That's probably what it was. So you still had to get back on I, stage. And I didn't have to, but that. I did. I was like, maybe I can just kind of get through this. But it, the pain intensified for the next, like, however many, couple days. Oh, man. Like, intense pain. So, I, Jake. And Kevin and them boys, they put me on their shoulders and helped me get down. Because we quit the show. Like, I was just like, I'm done. Yeah. Can't do this. We still never got paid for that gig, too, by the way. Oh, that's if they're li If you're listening, up. you can uh, – I'll give you my address. Just message me. You Sam, send, send a check. what's going on, dude? <laughs> Sam, that's what. Well, that was the last thing on my mind, though, you know? Yeah. And they they got me the car, and Kevin took me back to the hotel, which wasn't that far. I walked from the hotel to the show. That's how close, it, you know, yeah. I was staying. And I got up to back? the room, I got some ice, and they gave me, like, two Motrin at the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going to do nothing. Right. <laughs> and I take that. And Kevin and Timmy were staying at the hotel too, like in a different room. But yeah, well, they're all back at Sam's, just hanging out, you know, just listening to music and because the show, you know, we had to end like halfway through the show because of yeah. it. So they were like, "Well, we're going to hang out here for a little bit," and I guess that's over. That was just they it probably, bizarre. They probably ate and drank away that pay that y'all were supposed to get. <laughs> yeah, T I would Timmy have in their himself. position. I totally would have. But, I met Timmy for the first time uh, week last week, actually, out there at the record store. That is oh, a yeah. cool dude, man. Man, I 
I had to come up to Pikeville. I guess it's been like two weeks ago, and it was really cold out and icy, which is apparently what it's we're getting ready to come into. But I pulled up behind him there at the Gene Wiley Village in Prestonsburg. Yeah, in his little red pickup. I didn't know it was him at first, and we turned to go out Water Gap, and you know there's that bridge right there. Yeah. Well, buddy, it was solid a sheet of ice, and here goes Timmy, start turning sideways on the bridge in his truck, and he like is going sideways down the bridge, not fast, but it stops, and he looks over his left shoulder, and I'm looking right at him, and I don't know that he even knew it was me, but he was like, he was like, oh, yeah. crap. Yeah. That could have been bad because no cars were coming. But he, like, put it in reverse real slow and went on, and I followed him all the way to Pikeville. <laughs> but uh, Timmy's dude, solid, dude, man. man. Heck of a bass player. Um, and we, so we were playing in the garage, and Wonder was a song I wrote in 2020. What are you wondering about in the song? So it's not necessarily wondering about anything it's saying that it's a wonder that i don't have to wonder i guess like it's it's a wonder that things find a way of working themselves out okay in a good way and it's like in the midst of chaos it's like that's the wonder of life to Mm -hmm. me like like almost like an innocence Mm mm-hmm you know, just like a purity of like, man, that's it's a wonder. It's a wonder that we're all still chugging along, yeah, chasing our dreams and and going after what we want while we're here. Mm-hmm. And and it's like, it's a really simple song. I knew it had to be done with a full band because mm-hmm. I play it acoustic, but it really comes off with a full band because. You know, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's not this big lyrical masterpiece. You know, it's not a, um, it's a song, but it's not a story. I, but but I there's a message. It it's a vibe. It's a feeling I want to come across that, you know, you got to stand up to life. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't stand up to it, and I don't mean like another person, because we're all in it together. I mean, truly, we're all brothers and sisters. We got to find a way to get through it, even though we're different. Embrace we're all different, but we got to get through it and make the best of it. And it's like sticking right here. If you have to fight, you might as well stand up and turn on the light. And that was the first line that came to me when I was messing around on the guitar. And I was, I was like, Cause I'm not an aggressive dude, you know. I'm peace and prosperity, you know. (laughs) But it was like life will beat you down until you can't get up. It will, man. You have got to, and all the greats have always said you got to get back up. It's about getting back up every time, you know. Mm -hmm. Sylvester Stallone. I was about to say that, dude. (laughs) He's the man. Yeah, and. Say I'm home and I'm ready, and then it's like it's just been a real heavy time when when 2020 hit and everything that came with it. It was, I think, it was a lot of burdens that we all had to face mm-hmm. and decide if we're going to let go of it or if we're going to keep carrying it. Yeah, you know. So that song was kind of birthed out of feeling like I was getting pushed into a corner. And it was like, you know what? It's a wonder. It is it is a wonder because I always have enough. I'm always taken care of. Like, I always feel secure in, in who I am and what I'm doing, like, in the midst of everything that's going on. Yeah. And it, it's, it's, it's almost like a <sighs> thankfulness, a song of just like, Shh, it's out of my hands. Lord, you, you are in control, you've got it. It's a wonder because I can't explain it. What I you love do for your me. mind, man. <laughs> you've got such a great 
way of thinking. And I love the lyrics, too, because they're simple, but I think that everybody can find their own meaning in mm. them. Mm. Like, it's, you know, it's very metaphorical, a lot of the lyrics are. And that sense of wonder, it's almost childlike, you know, mm. but, but that's a, a good thing, because yeah. whenever you're a kid, that's all you really can do yes. is wonder. Yes. And I think that you know, a lot of times people lose that sense of wonder, that sense of adventure. Right. And that is really the driving force of life. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's what drives everything yes. in the world is that sense of wonder, that sense of adventure. And, man, the... Almost like I, a, it's a, just a continuous surprise. Yes. It like good, good things, you know, to yeah. me, the wonder is like, oh, God, not again. And it just becomes like, wow, you can get, you can live in it. Yeah, man. If you look for it. Exactly. If you look for it, you can live in it because it's there and it, it's, you don't see it necessarily with your eyes, but you see how things work out. And if you just trust and walk by faith, you know? Yeah. I, I'm foretelling uh, with that, but um, it's, it's there, and it's for each and every one of us. Yeah, man. It's there for each and every one of us. And I just think that song teamed with Mirrored Image and what they bring to the table, like their harmonies and their background vocals on the song. Yeah. Dude. The bridge was the what bridge got me. The bridge is unbelievable. Dude, oh, my God. Like if Dylan, man. I, I, don't, I don't know if like if they weren't on that song what that bridge would be like. But no, I'm so it's, glad that they are, man. Like that, yeah. that was them. Yeah. Like they, it was, they really brought them. that alive, they, On man. the bridge, it's like – and the bridge is – it's just – it's a wonder, but it, it's powerful the way it the builds. the first time I heard it. When, that, when it builds right there. Yeah. And like I remember – Cause we recorded this in December up at John Cheney, Mark's brother's place. Yeah, where they do a lot of their stuff, and it's one big great room. And we, I come in there, they is all in there, and we basically said, "Hey, hey, hey, da 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 da, hit record," and we just ran through it. I think that was like the third time we did it. And that's the version that y'all yeah. released. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like a third take. But listen. We overdubbed, obviously, all the backgrounds. I overdubbed some of my main vocal, um, and then Mark put his guitar solo at the end of the song, which is phenomenal. Yeah. I'm like, jealous he did that. of Mark, man. He's one of those people that you look <laughs> at, and you're like, how can you be that good at everything? Oh, no, he can do anything. Yeah, man. Really? They're all very, I, very talented. I love the music video, too. I met Jesse for Evan the first time. Evan used to time. be the drummer. Before Jake was. I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. I never learned Crazy. that off of them. I like the uh, music video as well, though, man. I met Jesse uh, for the first time a few weeks ago, and I'm really looking forward to what he does with uh, 606 Entertainment. Yeah, dude. I'm but, happy man, for him. But yeah, that uh, that music video that y'all put together, it's so cool, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Like, it really matches the vibe of it, the song. It was spur of the moment idea. I, I, I go to Jesse. I've went to Wright's Barbershop my whole life. That's my family so yeah I, uh, I'm in there all the time and then he recently showed me what he's doing with the 606 studio and and what his dreams and aspirations are and I'm like gosh man it's so refreshing to get to know somebody that's that's chasing their dreams yeah and 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 you know not just talking about what they're going to do but actually doing things yeah and then talking about what they've already done you know i think yeah. there's a difference in in talking about what you're going to do and then and doing it and then just talk about what you did exactly. each time you know keep going but uh he's one of those men and he works really hard and we just connected musically kind of the same level and uh he came out to the ken folk reunion last year that we did at archer park sunday best yeah so just a mutual respect, and uh, <laughs> he was working, and he was like, yeah, you guys, come on down, because we didn't know what we were going to, we just knew we were going to hang out. We were going to, like, walk around downtown and try to go into a couple different places, but Dylan, out of nowhere, was like, 
I want to get my haircut. <laughs> His haircut did look good, yeah. by the way. Well, it's he was like, haircut. I was like, because it was pretty like long, kind of shaggy. Yeah. I was like, are you serious? And he was like, yeah. If he'll cut my hair, I'll do it. And <laughs> I asked Jesse, I was like, you cut his hair? He's like, oh, yeah, whatever, man. I'll cut all y'all's hair. So once Great we got thing. in there, it was just like, man, he got his hair cut. Then Mark, which yeah. had even longer hair, Mark's like, I'm going to get a haircut. Wild, and then man. I was going to, because I had a beard, I was like, I'll just get him to trim my beard up. And okay. I was like, Fu Manchu. I do like the Lemmy look, man. It's, it's fake. Like, like Hill Lemmy. So right. Hill, Billy, Hill, Hill Lemmy. Lemmy. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I was like, man, just Fu Manchu it. Let's do it. Because I was going to wait till the spring. I'd already told him that I was going with it. But yeah. here we are. Looks good, man. Yeah, we had a blast, man. I, and, and was, too, I love how y'all uh, incorporated the brick house, too. Because, yeah. I, man, I try Got to tell people how there. good that place is, but I like how y'all actually showed the pizza. I even showed it to my wife. I'm like, listen, look at that pizza. That's why we need to go down there. <laughs> so a lot of people are going to watch that music video and like, dang, that pizza well, looks Well, you know good. what, too, and love the brick house. I mean, you can, you can ask any of them, you know, if they ever see me, and they'll tell you if they see me. So I... I, I you know, we're all stimulating our economy. Let's yeah. be honest. Talk about stimulate the economy. We'll go down to your local restaurant and give them some money. Exactly. So yeah. I do it as often as I can. And uh, plus, I love the menu. I love the atmosphere mm-hmm. and all the people that work there, man. You won't find you won't find many places like it. No, man. It, and it, it's and special. it's it's to Prestonsburg. It offers something that 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 little small town needs. Yeah, and it 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 fulfills, it fulfills that for it. So, but <laughs> it was a pizza party. I mean, we had a pizza <laughs> party and got a haircut. A pizza party and a barber shop while yeah, filming it was the like, music video. Yeah, Y'all and the so first Jake, people to ever Jake, do that. So I'm I had was messaging Jake, and I was like, man, because I know he's done a lot of, you know, editing and work for for the band already, and yeah. and he hit me. He's just gifted in that too and i was like do you think you could you know or we could all kind of shoot videos on our iphones and then just make a v- video out of that so that instead was, of doing a big production that was all shot on iphones all on his iphone he did it on his iphone whoa i didn't know that yes that's crazy so when i say it was spur of the moment like and then it, it happened all in that while we were in the barber shop we were just there hanging out. I think that it's great whenever it works out like that, though, man. It makes it that much more special. And for some reason, the finished product is just that much better. It yeah. seems like whenever I overthink stuff, it never turns out good. But those little spur-of-the-moment, coincidence-type experiences yeah. like that, they always end up great. It's amazing what these little <sighs> things can do. Buddy. I can't believe – I had no idea. I would have never thought. That's wild, man. I know. I know. It's a I great know. song though, dude. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. I'm 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 proud of the way it turned out. You know? Yeah. And shout out to Joe Dean Hinkle who made the artwork for it. Um and uh it's it's to date, you know, on my solo stuff that I've kind of recorded and released, it's it's, it's probably at the top. It's it's a song that I know for a fact I'll always be able to listen to yeah. the duration of my life and, and be like, Shh, that was fun. Yeah, man. <laughs> my favorite solo song by yours, by you, was always uh, Wildflower. Oh, cool. Always loved that song, man. But Heck yeah. Yeah, Wonder is definitely on top there. Yeah, but but cool. speaking about new songs, man, coming up later this month, I know that people are very excited about the new Sunday Best song, man. I am pumped about it, dude. And also, like, 2 22 That's hmm. just, I mean, heck, that's pro- it's probably going to be a million years before that happens again. What, <sighs> what brought up the big Sunday Best reunion, man? Yeah, so... <sighs> We've been kind of sitting on that song, Walk by Faith. Um, Jeez, almost a year now. Wow. That recording. Really? Yeah. Like the song has been done for a year. 
Um, not like my last March so of 2021. So yeah, we're close to it. Um, and it's been <laughs> it's been interesting to like have, and and that's not the only song. Like we've got pretty much, we've got a full record that's done. Oh wow! Yeah, that's exciting. But this is the first song we want to reintroduce ourselves with. You know what? What made it this song? <sighs> Man, just. Just kind of, we just felt it, I think, initially, that it has that potential. And then when we got in there and recorded it, um, you could just tell there was something special about it. And then mm-hmm. we were pretty much done with it and listening back on Friday night. We'd been there all week, and we were all in... in uh, a house. It's like a home studio down in the basement. Mm-hmm. Uh, a guy named Levi Lowry in Georgia. Um, he's fantastic, and we stayed about you know all weekend there, and got to Friday, and and Nicholas and I sat across from one another, two different bedrooms, but it was like we could see the other, and we played all the songs, you know, live, and then added everything in after. That was another cool thing about that experience and, and this new music. But Walk by Faith, listening back, and Mac Powell is just such a – I've said it before. I'll keep saying it, but he's a living legend to me, man. I, no doubt about it. Third up, day, man. Third day, man. Oh, it's great, man. And growing dude. up, those songs so influential in my childhood and, and throughout – my life really even today i still listen to their songs and you know he's friends with levi and we were like you think mac powell would wanna would sing a verse on it joking yeah and levi's like hold on let me text him wow i'm telling you i'm telling you the truth and we're like oh what is happening? Like, and he responded almost immediately and was like, because Levi was like, would you sing on this song? I don't even know if he even said who, what, whose song it was. Yeah. He don't know who Sandy Best is, you know? I never know. Yeah, you never know. Well, he's he does now, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he said yes, like, smiley face. Wow. And uh, out of the goodness of his heart, he did it. That's awesome whenever you find those people that you think would never do something like that, never be that nice. Well, you, know? You, you know, you kind of think of people like that, like might have an ego to them, but then you actually get to talk with them, and they're well, some of the most down-to-earth, nicest people that you've ever met. That's so refreshing I whenever you meet I knew the Lord people. is working in and through him today no doubt. because he received that and he answered it and his door was knocked and he opened it and praise god you know i'm i can feel the spirit of the lord on that song in this record and and uh this song is 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 ready to get out there I'm excited about yeah, it, man. And I know that everybody else is too. The shows that y'all have been doing have been packed every single time. What's what brought back the reunion, man? What made y'all want to do it again? Well, we had uh, reconnected there in 2020. A lot happened in 2020 because I think everybody's worlds got flipped upside down, you know. Yeah. And uh, my dad was in a, I mean. When I say life-threatening auto accident, I mean literally. Like he sixty mile an hour into a brick wall. Dude, the video. Yeah. Oh my God. I told him I said, Dad, that video right there, if it was on Chive TV, it'd have a billion views. No doubt about it, dude. But I don't. (laughs) I I feel conflicted about it being that because it's my dad. Yeah, I get it. You know, it's like. I don't want to. But if you like, but people that watches that video, I mean, you would think that there's no way that he's alive, and that's right. such a blessing that he was able to make it through that. <sighs> a miracle. Yeah, man. 
modern day miracle. Yeah. And I was there in the garage when it happened. And it happened just a few blocks down from my parents' place. And uh, I get a call from my dad right when it happened. He found his phone somehow and called me. Mm. I said, hey. He said, I've been in a wreck. I'm right down here where you walk all the time. And I could hear stuff like stuff shuffling around. I heard sirens at that point. Mm -hmm. And I just took off and kind of went running and to where the commotion was and they were putting him on a stretcher. And man, (laughs) I can't believe he was able to call you. Dude, I don't get it because crazy. The airbags went off like the stuff was everywhere. Like stuff that the change cup in the front cup holder was in the back of the car. Wow. Like, and he somehow found the phone and called me. Like, the ambulance and stuff was going to be there. They was already there and doing their thing, but he called me to let me know. Man. I'm just surprised he was able to. Oh, I mean, to this day, I'm telling you, it's, you talk about wonder. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's it's a, a wonder. wonder right there. It's a wonder. Seriously. Wow. and. I got there, man, and I didn't know what to do other than just pray. But I was just praying, and it was like my prayer went to like, like um, I just had peace, but I felt a victory over that situation. Mm-hmm. I felt I felt like you're gonna, it's you're going to make it. You're gonna be okay because I didn't know what his complications were. You know, I just saw him. I knew that he had been in a terrible, terrible accident. Yeah. I mean, the car was totaled. And thank God that, you know, like, he didn't hit nobody walking because it was in town Mm. or go through the wall into where there was offices. Yeah. You know? But they drove him out to the college, uh, Big Sandy, and a helicopter landed, the air evac. And got him and flew him to Pikeville. Wow. He was in there 18 days. Sure. And here's a here's a two 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 for you. Here's here's a good story to line all this up. He wrecked at exactly twelve twenty two. Wow. Like on the sur- there was a surveillance camera from the apartment across the street, and like they had the time on it. Oh. And gets in the hospital and. Our good friend Carl Woods, who preaches down in Allen there, he said, Kenny, I want to tell you something. I wrote down on a prayer cloth on December 22nd last year to, that I needed to pray for you and keep praying for you. And that was 1222. Well, just a bunch of instances. But this was in June. And then oh, that's wild. Dad man. gets home. They deliver his wheelchair, and on the invoice, you know, when they brought it, it's twelve twenty-two. Me and my brother Brett picked Dad up in my car when he finally got out of the hospital, and he got in the car and shut the door, turned the car on, radio, come on, it's twelve twenty-two. That's crazy, dude. buddy. Oh my God! What do they call those an- angelic numbers? Man, they're ha- <laughs> whatever I don't know, they are. I don't know. It just kind of confirms that's you're right weird. where you're supposed to be. Yeah, but two, two, two. That's just man. That my number was I, my favorite number was always two. So like I just yeah. we all have our things we look for and see. And, yeah, my number. But it's four. Just, is it the four is mine? Is it? Yep. Heck yeah. Yeah, man. It's it's just I don't get that though, like because you meet a lot of people that have those angelic numbers, yeah. those numbers that they'll see on the back of a license plate as they're going down the road and it sticks out to them. Like, Meaningful. I don't, I don't get what that is. The universe mm-hmm. is a weird thing, man. Yeah. And one day maybe that'll be explained, but there well, ha- there there's way too many coincidences in the world. From it's way nothing too many to fear. People. It's nothing to oh, fear. It's, it's actually a beautiful thing yeah. if you if you look at it the right yeah. way. I, like you said, I think that it shows you that you're on the right track. It's the universe's mm-hmm. way of telling you that, like, hey, 
yeah, this is it. Yeah. Good job. You're, I mean, in nature in general, I mean, we've been seeing all kinds of bald eagles in Prestonsburg. That's like, yeah. I seen that's a lot of cool. Wiley. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I don't remember seeing them growing up. It's, it's a wild thing. So, Gen, Jenny, well, you know, I guess the word has gotten out about Jenny Wiley that mm-hmm. even the bald eagles have heard about how great of a place it is. Right. Yeah. We're man. moving here. <laughs> We're migrating here. So, so did like Nick hit you up after all that? Hey, what now? What did like Nick hit you up after all that? How did that? Okay, come about? yeah, no, he messaged me and was just checking on dad and asking me about it. And just very thoughtful. And at that point, we hadn't seen one another in years, a couple years, and, or talked really at all. Mm-hmm. Um, we had reconnected the first of like the when everybody was kind of staying home, like March, April. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and then, you know, he shared with me he was having a little baby girl. Yeah. Congratulations, who, Nick, who is, by the way. Yeah. Who was doing very well, I can say. Happy for them. Um, so some things happened there in 2020, and we were supposed to play in August. Nobody ever knew about it because it got it rained the whole daggone day. It, we were just going to play and surprise everybody over yeah. at Gene Wiley at the Lodge. Yeah. It rained all day. It was like August 14th. And uh, <laughs> more time goes by. And on a Monday night, I drove up and I went over to Bank 253 there in Pikeville to eat. Yeah. And... Got boneless wings and a Caesar salad. That's just sit by wings. myself, and had me like a, a probably a tequila mixed drink. Yeah, and water. But was eating, and then in walks Jared McGuire. You know Jared? Yeah, yeah, I know Jerry. Not Jerry McGuire, Jared. Oh, no, I don't know Jared. <laughs> Jerry Maguire's the movie. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't know who's big, which big stars were coming. Well, you to talk Tiger. about the Brick House. Jared, Jared put that thing on the map, him and Jenna. Mm, okay. But um, I'm like, well, what are you doing? And at the time, you know, the the great, great hall, Broken Throne Great Hall in Pikeville. Yeah. He was working on that. He's like, well, I'm, I was going to get something to eat. I was like, well, you can sit over here. He's like, okay. So he goes to the restroom, comes back and sits down. Me and him's talking. Well, in walks Nick. Hmm. And Jared's like, oh, yeah, me and him are supposed to meet for dinner. And I was wow. like, well, all right. Well, I'll sit down. So that's what we did. Nick sat down and ordered boneless wings and Caesar salad. Wow. <laughs> and I was man. like, no, nothing's changed. <laughs> but uh yeah, we just we just talked and the three of us had dinner and that was that and from that point on it was just kind of this understanding that hey, we want the same thing. Yeah. You know, and we can move forward, you know. Mm-hmm. Anything up till now is it's not void, but it's it's in the rear view. That's mm. what can we do now? You know, what can we grow and build now? And how can we make a difference now and enjoy it, you know, and not feel yeah. any pressure with it and take our time if we want? And it's, it's kind of just in a fresh brand, I mean, a new day, Yeah, truthfully. So we've, we've not looked back. There's not been any, you know, Thank the Lord, like we've we've been very blessed in our comeback because folks have received it so well yeah. and have supported us in a way that maybe might, might be brand new too. 
It seems like y'all are really having a fun time, man. From all the pictures and the videos that I've watched, I think that you can just genuinely tell when people are enjoying themselves. It's fun, man. And like, it, yeah, man, it, it really like, seems The music like and the, the playing, like the dynamic of... Because I don't play cajon really any other time. Is that what that drum is called, cajon? Yeah, cajon. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering what those Which were is Spanish for a box. Ah, season. <laughs> so it sounds okay. better if you say cajon than saying, yeah, I play at box. Because <laughs> people's like, a box? So cajon well, makes it sound more professional. <laughs> cajon does make it sound a lot more professional. But, but the cajon that I do play currently is, there's only one in the universe like it. Did you get it custom made or something? My, yeah, my brother Brett hand made it. Cool, man. Yeah. What so. made you go with the cajon drum versus, you know, like the regular drums? What kind of drew you to that instrument? Well, I'd always played drums, like a full kit, my whole, as far back as I can remember, it was probably six, seven, or eight playing drums. My dad always played and my brother played too, so. Yeah. It just was natural to me. And then grew up playing in church at that little church down in Allen. I was telling you, Carl Woods, pastor's at. Um, grew up playing in there, like, through high school. Played other places, other churches around, but <clears throat> then... Uh, Went to college there at Center College in 2005 in Danville, and I kind of just quit playing drums. I mean, I couldn't have drums there in my dorm room. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> like, there at no point is everyone not in on the floor, you know? Yeah. It's like, and college is, was just a different, I just didn't have time for music. I was playing basketball. Yeah. But what was good about that time is that I did take an acoustic guitar and started really playing it more instead of drums. So I was able to develop that skill and learn the easiest of my favorite songs that I could cover as a big, you know. Smoke on the Water. Yeah, that's, right. that's everybody's first song. Let Her Cry, <laughs> Hootie yeah. and the Blowfish. Yeah, man. Wagon Wheel. I'd sing Wagon Wheel all the time. Back in, buddy. I'd. Darius Rucker, buddy. He's underrated. No, old, old Crow. Okay. Uh, well, I, I seen you talking about Hootie, Darius Hootie, Rucker. I seen you, well, you're talking about Hootie and the Blowfish. I didn't know which way you were going. So this, right. Touche. Um, but yeah, the Old Crow OG version, man, yeah, before man. Darius covered it. Oh, yeah. Old Crow Medicine Show is definitely the way to go. And then but Darius, I still play I this one, the, Tonic, If You Could Only See. Yeah. I still play it. That's a good song, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, so played a lot of guitar in college, but just no drums. Um, played f four years of basketball there and graduated and moved to Lexington. And uh, I think right before I was getting ready to graduate, Nick hit me up online and we hadn't talked. We hadn't talked for a while, even then. Because he was living back here at the time I was across the state almost mm -hmm. and he said uh, do you do you have any drums for sale like he was looking for a set of drums and I was like no I ain't got none for sale but I got some that I can play I got like I got a kit that I can play but I it ain't for sale yeah <laughs> and Hi, buddy. From then on, it was on like we. Well, how, when it was after that, before we got together in Jan, we played all night long, and uh, I think I had just got a cajon from Guitar Center in Lexington because I saw one on a YouTube video. But yeah, is that like relatively a new instrument? Yeah, I mean, shh, this was 2009, I guess. Go look it up. Uh, I mean, but it's a it's Peruvian 
its origin. So I mean, it it was a it's it's kind of been an instrument. I guess it's just been modernized now through uh, drum companies, you know. Yeah. But this, so you didn't see. I'll tell you this: you didn't see them in every bar like you do now. Yeah, they actually, uh, from what Google says, the story goes that Spanish flamenco guitarist Paco de Luca and Brazilian percussionist Ruben Dantes discovered the Cajun drum while on tour in Peru in the 1970s. Yeah, so it's Peru, it's Peruvian. Yeah, so I, I guess before the 1970s, like that's the only country that even had one. Well, <clears throat> it came from West Africa. Um, it's a group of people that were brought down there in South America, mainly Peru, namely Peru, and were enslaved. And their greatest power was their ability to make music, mm-hmm. to make noise and play the drums, play you know African drums and. They didn't allow them to have any of that there. So they were suppressed and oppressed and depressed, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, what the people there didn't realize is that they'll find a way to make music. So oftentimes they'd carry fruit baskets, you know, to transport goods and services. Yeah. And various times of the day, if they had a break or whatever, they'd turn that basket down and sit on the ground. They'd sit on it and just play rhythms on it mm. and make noise. And almost like these drum circles would just break out. And that was how they were able to have a voice and, and express themselves and, and you know, be thankful for the life they had even though they were enslaved that was their music was their ability to like feel that joy yeah and then it just grew from that to my understanding i've done i've looked into it often um and like you said i that's a good link right there that they discovered it down there while they were on tour because i bet they saw a local do it Probably, yeah. And they were like, and then, you know, now you can buy them, you can buy them at Mount Music Exchange. It's crazy how powerful music can be, that even though that they were going through all that at the time, they, you know, that little light bulb went off in somebody's head to turn a basket into a drum. Music is such a, it's almost become this natural human instinct. Like, uh, <clears throat> I was talking with uh, Harry Clark of the mm-hmm. Wooks a few weeks ago, and we got into this discussion about, like, can music be genetic? Like, if you see a little nine-month-year-old baby mm-hmm. and do- doesn't know what sound is, doesn't know what music is, don't doesn't know any of that, don't even know what words are, yeah. but yet, if you turn on the right song, hmm. it'll start bouncing. Yeah. It'll it'll clap its hands. Yeah. It's almost like music is in our DNA. It is yeah. this driving force of human nature. Yeah. It's spirit. And man, that that's a beautiful story right there yeah. about you know how how that was even discovered, how that was invented. Mm-hmm. People will find a way to groove, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and eating and grooving. That's that's the two things that drive humans. Soul food, buddy. Yeah, man. You know, the groove, rhythm of life. I also wanted to uh, ask you about Hollerwood, man. Uh, I love that yeah. name. That is one of the greatest names for a production company in Appalachia <laughs> ever invented. I don't see how somebody didn't think of it first. Well, it's been, Hollerwood's been tossed around and around these parts for years, just calling the head they call it Alan Hollerwood, and but, there was a Hollerwood uh, uh, makeshift stage. And I'll say, uh, may God rest my brother Kenneth Burchett, who um, went on to the next phase. Uh, he he kind of is the one that introduced Hollerwood to me. Mm. He lived out down there in Allen. Yeah, and uh, that just. 
people just said it, called it Hollywood. This is this Hollywood. And I've always just loved it and said it to myself. And back in 2018, um, I was starting to book like the Kentucky River Jam Festival in Frankfurt. And I was like, man, I need, need to make this some sort of something, a business mm -hmm. or something like a, if I'm going to put production together and book the bands, like that way I can build with it. And it was just like Hollywood productions. It just kept, I was like, that, that's it. Yeah, it has to be, you know? And then like the artwork, Phil Barnett, shout out to Phil, another part of Hollywood. I was like, I want it to be the logo and mascot to be an orangutan, not Bigfoot. I want an orangutan. Do, do a lot of people think thinks that it's Bigfoot though? Yeah, I'll be honest. I Some people do. I, I, I thought it was Bigfoot until this moment right here. Wow! I'll, I'll be completely orangutan. Honest. Look up the orangutan. <laughs> it, I guess, of the forest. I guess now that I look at it, that makes sense. But. <sighs> <laughs> Just, I, 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 like, I like Bigfoot, man. I wanted it to be Bigfoot. Bigfoot gets he gets overused though, and he never gets anything for it. True, because he don't exist. You don't know that, Chris. But now orangutans like, need help. That. True, true. <laughs> it, it, is a, it, is a, it is a great moment. Uh, but with the Hollywood, like, what's the uh, like? What's the vision for it, man? Are, are, is it a production company? Like, what what exactly are you doing with Hollywood? It's growing. I know it's. I'm learning as I go because it's, it's, doesn't everything start with an idea? Yeah. That little idea. You know, and, and I want to create and I want it to be a platform and a hub for people like Mirrored Image, mm. you know, people like Sunday Best, people like you, people like anyone out there chasing after what they really want to do, what, what brings them joy and happiness. Like, I want to, be a platform for people to get heard mm -hmm. and, and to facilitate that and to support and be an example of how we can all help one another. Um, so that's the pretty much the mission statement of it is, and, and that's in the arts and entertainment, mm -hmm. you know, fields. Um, but I, I want to be involved in film, you know, as well as music and the arts, you know. I think I think we've got a lot of talented folks around here who can paint just yeah. as good as anybody or who can build just as good as anybody. Yeah, no doubt about it, man. You know, it's not just the singing and the, the musical side of things either. It's We've got a lot of unique and talented artists here and creatives that deserve to be heard or seen if they want, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's all a business, yeah, man. you know, if, if you can run your life as a business, you can do something you enjoy, yeah. you know, and doesn't mean you can't enjoy doing anything, right? It's all about your heart. Yeah, <laughs> and but, your, but you're doing what you love yeah. because it's your life. It's yeah. your choices. And I'm also glad that you're stepping up to be that person because you know there's a lot of people that are really good at their craft they just don't know how to market it they don't exactly know how to get out there well, and comedy it, i love comedy yeah but like i just don't know like how many people that were so talented kind of got caught by the wayside because they didn't understand the other side of the business mm -hmm. and it's great that you know people like you and people like jesse are creating these little production hubs now to show people like hey you know it's it's relatively easy mm -hmm. and like you said man not only are we blessed with music in this area but whenever it comes to production some of the best sound engineers mm -hmm artist the list goes on we've got it around here mm -hmm. and to have that little hub to bring it all together i think that y'all are going to do incredible mm. things man i'm excited to see what comes out of it thank you man the show will go on that's the slogan for hollywood is the show will go on it has to i dig it man yeah man well christopher 
thank you for your time today, dude. I think that's a great way to wrap it up. But for the people that want to check out the new Sunday Best stuff, Mm -hmm. the new Song Wonder, all the other stuff that you're going to have going on in 2022, because I know you got a lot planned. Mm -hmm. Where do they go to do all that? Cool. Um, For my solo stuff, like you'll be able to listen to Wonder at ChristopherBentley.com. It's all. It's obviously everywhere streaming so spotify apple music and on down the line um as well as the other things i've done um in my solo side and then sunday best uh, look us up s-u-n-d-y if you've not heard of us now's a good time to tune in yeah <laughs> <laughs> um and there's new music on the way from everybody involved uh nicholas is doing his solo thing too so check him out nicholas jamerson um hollerwood all of us there's a lot of people that we can support and you know it's all entertainment but we're all we're all trying to help heal one another too that's a community we're man. trying to to build community and and in the arts and music it it seems to be the best fit for me so i think we already have something very special and it's just going to keep growing. You know, I'm yeah. thankful to be living right here in February of 2022, right where I'm at. Yeah. I'm not afraid of anything, man. I, we can all do it together. We can get through it. Life is a beautiful thing if you choose to look at it that way. Yeah. Amen. It's all Dewey Jamerson. It's about your attitude. Yep. You can always have a good attitude. That's what it's about. Chris, thank you, dude. This was awesome. I really enjoyed this conversation. Appreciate you, brother. Eli, the yes, man. Sir. Folks, we'll see you next week. Bam, bam. <laughs> oh, man, that was awesome. Heck yeah, bro.